community center not far from where Stefan Clark was shot and killed, his family and friends welcomed people to enjoy and express themselves in a variety of ways. They called it a day of love and peace. While the event brought out a lot of smiles, Clark's brother, Stevante, said marking one year since the shooting hasn't been easy. It's not, it's not a happy time for us, but it's a time for us to honor and remember who Stefan was for us and what he meant to us and um, to share some of that with our community. Clark described the last year's tumultuous as his family's pain became very public and a rallying cry for protesters. We're moving um, forward and we're keeping our faith in God. Clark's mother said this past week and marking one year after Stefan's death have been particularly hard to cope with. I resent the word anniversary. I resent that. I don't like that word. I resent anyone referring to um, Tomorrow is Zoe Day or Stefan Clark Day. That's not his day. But she said she has been grateful for the support her family has received. I'm thankful for a voice coming out of my son, Stevante, yes. that yes. I'm just, I'm so proud of him. There's going to be enough divisiveness that it's going to be there no matter what we do. So I just think it's tremendous of this family to try to bring everybody together in the name of Stefan Clark rather than dividing them. With the memorial service planned and more call for action at the Capitol, the Clarks are still seeking changes and justice in some form. Honor his name um, and basically bring people together. You know, Stefan is not just legislative change. Stefan is uniting communities. You know, Stefan is peaceful and effective protesting. In Sacramento, Kevin Oliver, KCRA 3 News.